doctors in the house, and we we're talking about questions to ask your doctor if you have heart failure. And Dr. Barbara Pisani, a cardiologist with Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center, joins us today. Good to see you. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it. Thank you for inviting so me. So let's start here. What is heart failure, and are there different types? So heart failure is a syndrome where the heart muscle is either malfunctioning or there's heart muscle loss. And when we look at the types of heart failure, there are generally two types of heart failure. One is where the squeezing function is abnormal, what we call systolic dysfunction. Mm -hmm. or one is where the squeezing function is normal, but there are still symptoms of heart failure, and that's what we call preserved EF. Generally, older people, people with coronary disease or hypertension have that preserved heart function. Other people have that low ejection fraction type. How does that differ from heart attack and does one lead to the other? So a heart attack means that a person's heart muscle has died. So you have a blockage of an artery, uh, there's no flow to the heart muscle, so the heart muscle dies. If enough heart muscle dies, either because of a heart attack or some other reason, then you can have heart failure. Sometimes people that have heart failure, their heart is very enlarged and the blood does not circulate well, so clots could actually form in the heart and break off, go into an artery and mm -hmm. cause a heart attack, but that's pretty uncommon. All right. Are there warning signs? So heart failure can be very, very subtle. So sometimes people will say, I have a little bit of a dry cough, I feel a little bit of shortness of breath. They'll go to their doctor and their doctor will say to them, oh, you just have a bronchitis or you may have a pneumonia. But then they'll notice that they may notice some bloating, they may notice that their legs are swollen, they can't lie flat in bed. Sometimes if it's very bad, they will get confused, but a dry cough and shortness of breath are oftentimes the first signs that you might see. Now, how do you treat it? Well, so there are certain types of medications that are useful. So for patients that have that abnormal squeezing function, we usually use things like ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, diuretics. There are some other drugs. For people who have advanced heart failure, sometimes we'll use uh, biventricular pacemakers, heart transplant, artificial heart devices like Dick Cheney had. Mm -hmm. um, and then certainly people who have abnormal heart function, you need to consider having a defibrillator placed to prevent sudden death. All right, you're diagnosed with heart failure. What kinds of questions should you be asking your doctor? I, I think the important questions to ask your doctor are to make sure that you're on guideline-directed medical therapy. That means you want to know, am I taking the medications that are going to make me feel better, keep me out of the hospital, and live longer? You want to ask your doctor, if you're seeing a primary care doctor, do I need to see a cardiologist? because maybe I need an angiogram, maybe I need bypass surgery as a treatment for my heart failure. And if you're seeing a cardiologist, especially if you keep coming into the hospital for heart failure, do I need to see a heart failure specialist? That's right. very important. Our Dr. Pisani will lead two best health seminars on this topic. The first is June 20th, 4 to 5 p.m. at Wake Forest Baptist Health, Davie Medical Center Plaza 1 on Highway um, 801 North at Bermuda Run. And the second class will be held Wednesday, June 25th from 5.30 to 6.30 at Wake Forest Baptist Health Medical Plaza on Country Club Road, 4610 Country Club Road. Both classes are free, but registration is required. Here's the number to call, 336 713-2378. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it. Thank you for having me.